Hello again everybody, Alan Shura here, February 10th, 2016, The Mystery of the Amplodyne, Part 2. The Amplodyne is a motor generator, and as I explained in my first video, these are two 15 watt motors. And I have a 6.75 watt maximum AC adapter here. It puts out 4.6 volts. And refer back to the first video for the explanations. And here I'm going to measure the input and the output. I start the engine. There's quite a bit of sparking there for uh, just uh, 4.6 volts. There's a short wire in the back, as explained in the amplodyne at this point. But so this is really just after the first step in the build and the wires didn't put out the expected current because I couldn't make the contact too small. So now it's moving, we'll take a measurement. It's 4.4 volts, so a drop of 0.2 volt to run the two motors at this speed. Now I showed before that if a pin is inserted in the back and one underneath uh, one of the brushes, and this is a, just a little finishing nail pin that I have here, and uh, I just put it in there so I don't drop it or, or anything, but it's just a little finishing nail, and uh, so I put that in the back here to lift the brush a bit, one of the brushes. And you've got this great acceleration. And it seems to gather a little momentum. Just see if I can up to 4.5. That's pretty close to the 4.6 coming in after the acceleration. But it's running two 15 watt motors and it's gaining momentum mechanically. But there's no voltage coming out of the wires. And there's a wire to short the brushes in the back, the first stage of the amplodyne build. Now if I add a couple of magnets to that, these are new DNA magnets. And here we're starting to get into the theory because what they would do with the amplodyne is they would excite, use a different type of DC motor other than the permanent magnet, but they would put a, a, make a, a coil turn into an electromagnet to increase the magnetic field. In this case, I, uh, I'll just increase the permanent magnets. which would be a constant rate. However, in the theory of the amplodyne, the excitation can be controlled. And the generation changes with the dynamic of the magnetic patterns around it. So as the generator increases its uh, induction, and momentum, those forces interact 
along with the uh, electromotive uh, forces uh, by reshaping the magnetism. Uh, anyway, each um, part of the field contributes to the other on an acceleration of power. So now with the two magnets there, um, put the pin back in again. That's it. The system shows 4.5. Now you remember, we only put in 4.6 volts at 1.5 amp, and this is 4.5 volts. That's one tenth of a volt change. To run these two motors, 15 watt motors, And it slowly gains some momentum. You, you, uh, yesterday I actually hit the 4.6. But even if you divided that. Also I'll have to test the amperage to validate how good this is. But what we're trying to achieve here is, is uh, unity. So that it might be possible to induce over unity. Before the most I actually achieved in this system with these type of motors was 4.4. As you can see the system is back to four to its uh, 4.6 with the motors off. So I actually hit that 4.6 spiked to the 4.6 a couple of times running this uh, for a short while uh, last night so now I have to test the amperage because theoretically these should not uh, be more than 80 percent efficient 75 to 80 percent for this type of motor and for say an appliance motor that's AC um, even lower 60 to 70 percent why because uh, if they're electrically excited they actually use power and the amplitudes and the late